Thank you for your great to hear from you. Neil is up next in New York. Uh, hello, Neil. How you doing, Paul? Hey there. Good to talk to you. Um, so I just want to give a major piece of context to the 14,000 uh, meme that went along yesterday. Uh, made the rounds on Twitter, throughout Instagram and Facebook. And I think the main thing that's missing is that I don't think anyone who tweeted that out or was a part of that ever really claimed that Florida was Alabama-esque. No one's saying Florida is the best team in the nation, but the point is more to prove that Georgia isn't really in a position to be talking any kind of smack either, and they are. So, yeah, I know they won the last two games. They're still... They have a winning percentage against Florida over the last three decades that's barely even good for a batting average. So the fact that they're talking smack, eh, maybe that's not just such a good idea either, you know? So we just want yeah, to... But, 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 but Neil, let's, let's be uh, realistic here. Um, and, and I have friends who are inside that program that are saying, hold on a second, some of the, the Mike Griffins or Griffiths of the world are, are way out uh, on, the, on the precipice. Um, but... Georgia has still accomplished a great deal in the last two seasons. Uh, they've become an elite program. They've won a title. They've nearly won a national championship. They're, they're recruiting at a level that uh, Georgia has not recruited at in, in, in memory. So uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure how you can, 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 can do an apples for apples comparison right now between Florida and Georgia. No, but, but I'm, I'm not trying to. The point is that well, some yeah, are though. They had well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean uh, Neil, calling up, not not you, but others calling up and making fun of the fact Georgia hasn't won. And, and listen, this is coming from Dan Mullen. Uh, I'm, I'm not blaming some guy on Instagram. Yeah, I mean, this is Dan, this is Dan Mullen started this. Okay, I know it. I, I can attest to it. I don't. I don't dispute that. But that's not he, what I'm. He is the one who who has is, who is changed the culture down there from the the crazy uncle in the attic, which was Jim McElwain. Uh, to the, the swashbuckler, uh, Steve Spurrier, uh, look-alike, and, and, and it's good. But, you, you know, at some point you do have to back it up. And last year there were some great moments, LSU, Michigan, but there were some just terrible moments as well. Of course there were, but the, the, I think the larger point is that, yes, it was 36-17, to 17, but Florida – was down Brad Stewart. They were down Marco. Uh, I don't care about Kane. all that. I really They're, don't, Neil. Come but on. The point is, I mean, the year before it was no, like I'll, forty-four to seven. Uh, I mean, not, listen, uh, don't don't don't, don't compare yourself to Georgia until you beat Georgia. Capiche? That sounds yes, but listen, Paul. I'm trying to explain. No, that what, what you're trying to do is make yourself feel better. By denigrating Georgia, that's not really the way it works in this. I mean, Georgia's already there. Florida is trying to get there. They may be there in some preseason rankings, but they need to back it up. Do I think they can? Sure. But that's on the field. What we're talking about here is hot air. We are coming right back. More to come.